In Henry County Schools, the North Star of our personalized learning effort is really about increasing student agency over learning. And what we mean by that is we want kids to be good decision makers about how they learn, what they learn, and how they show what they learn. Um, the nature of 21st century education or learning is that um, their learning can look like lots of different things and schools should really support that. So what we want is really flexible learning for kids, uh, clear outcomes, but we really want flexible learning for kids. Um, and we want them to be good decision makers and all of that. So we are intentionally increasing their um, ability to make good substantive decisions about their learning. Disrupting Class had just come out um, and uh, really struck a chord with us to say we need to do school differently. Um, and so we applied for an RT3 grant for the district at the time um, and kind of put together some ideas about what we could do differently. Uh, and we didn't receive that, which was actually really good for us because it gave us a, a chance to go back and think deeply about we want, what we wanted this to look like. Um, and so we started making changes. We started removing barriers for principals, um, started trying to look at policies and practices that we could take away, um, and pushing our different schools to say, hey, if you could do school differently and better, how would you do that? And that was really the genesis of the work. Uh, we were really energized by the NGSI grant that the Gates Foundation put out. So we uh, applied for that grant, got that grant, um, and really pushed our thinking to be more systemic in how we wanted to um, make this our district-wide vision over the course of the next six years. Um, and so we put that in place um, and did competitive applications for our first cohort of schools. Um, but from the very beginning, we weren't piloting this as a practice we didn't think was going to work. We always believed this was going to work, this idea of personalized learning and the tenants that we had. We just had to do it in a really intentional way to make sure we could touch all 50 of our schools.